Hello, my name's Robbie Cumming and I make videos about canals and canal boats. I'm a big hit at parties, but this year I have made a BBC television series and in this short video I want to tell you all about when it's on and how you can watch it. Hello, I'm just standing on a lock, well I'm standing on a, on a post that's next to a lock on the Rochdale Canal, one of my favourite canals in the UK and also one of the most underused and under maintained canals, it's a real shame but just look at it, look at that Before I get started on this news, um, I just want to just say thanks generally for the lovely comments and not saying, oh, I sold out, I'm not making any YouTube videos anymore, you know, not doing Pub of the Week. <laughs> I will do YouTube videos because it's the only place where I can do Pub of the Week. And I've got loads of vlogs saved up for you from uh, this year's travels. So the big news is that not only is this programme going to be transmitted on BBC Four, but it's also going on BBC One as a premiere in different regional areas. So at 7.30 p.m. on the 18th of November on BBC One, if you live in West Midlands, in the East Midlands, in the in Yorkshire, sort of BBC Leeds and um, North West areas, each of you will get uh, a different episode. Um, you might be thinking, oh, I live in Devon or Cornwall or somewhere, how am I going to watch it? Well, you can use the iPlayer settings to change your region. If you've used the iPlayer before, you've probably noticed there's a settings icon, or you might not have noticed, um, but you can change the location from wherever it's set. I think usually it's London, um, and you can move it about to wherever you're, you are in the country. For example, if you're in the Midlands, you could watch episode one from Shardlow in Derbyshire to Stoke-on-Trent, uh, or in the West Midlands area. Uh, which would cover the Calden Canal and Macclesfield Canal. Uh, and then for episode three, that covers the Huddersfield Narrow Canal, so you'd have to pretend you're in Yorkshire, <laughs> or just, just live in Yorkshire. And um, for the episode four, to see that on, on the same day, that would be, uh, you have to be in the northwest region, or just change the settings on iPlayer. Um, so you can get to see the northwest, or just wait for the next day because I'm reliably informed that it'll all be out on iPlayer then. The number one question that I've been asked about this series, Canal Boat Diaries, is from viewers in America and Canada, New Zealand and Australia mostly, saying, how am I going to watch it if it's broadcast on BBC in the UK? How am I going to watch it in another country, for example? Well. I'd love to say it's my decision to, to, that it will be broadcast, but it's, it's really not. It all depends, I think, on how successful it is in this country. However, there are other ways of watching programmes, and I'm sure one day you'll be able to get to see it in, so, in some form or other. In the meantime, let's have a little bit more of a look at this uh, canal. This is a viaduct, a Gorksum viaduct, and you're probably wondering why is it so ornate? You know, is it just because the Victorians had more style? Well, it, it was built in about 1849, I think, if I'm correct on that. And um, it's been since been reinforced because it was cast iron, which doesn't really stand up to the test of time as much as reinforced steel. So that was actually strengthened with that lower part of the bridge. And it's so ornate because they had to appease the landowners on, on the land which they were, were building. So they had to make it look like a folly almost. so beautiful around there, I love it, but it is also pretty gritty as well, you know, there's a bit of rubbish and um, yeah, obviously everything's overgrown, but it's just industrial heritage being reclaimed by nature, isn't it? By the way, if you're a boater watching this and you're thinking, yeah, I'd quite like to try and see if I could live on the Rochdale Canal, it's very difficult. Not only is it far too shallow in some places um, there's also no re re really to moor because it's all either overgrown too shallow plus it can be a little bit dodgy in places like uh, greater manchester there aren't a lot of boats here so it, it creates a bit of a tension you know <laughs> so um, yeah some boaters have had problems on this canal but 
I've not. It's been great for me. Right, I've got something really cool to show you around this next corner that also relates to the railways. This is one of the Rochdale Canal's most iconic structures. It's massive, it's four million plus bricks apparently, and the locals call it Great Wall of Todd. Now, the reason why this is here is to hold up the rail that runs along the top. Uh, hold that embankment there, um, because this area is prone to slippage. Just around the corner, you're actually in Todmorden itself. And this town is not far from the border of Lancashire and Yorkshire. In fact, the postcode here is an Oldham postcode. Oldham's in Greater Manchester. But yeah, it's a lovely, lovely town, um, but also one that's really down to earth, which I appreciate. And across the side of this, other side of this road, this is the canal. And this is where most people moor up and you can have about two weeks there which is unusual for this canal um, or you can have like just 24 hours I think just there but that's not enough is it but there's the facilities there boaters facilities and also pub of the week but they're not quite open yet so it it was not Todmorden or Odmorden as some of the locals call it it's just things are crazy here so don't always go to plan It's time to leave Todmorden and the Rochdale Canal and return to the Leeds and Liverpool. That's the one I'm on at the moment with my boat, the Naughty Lass. There she is, still floating. And uh, yeah, going to take a little trip now, about a mile up the canal, away from Liverpool. And I'm going to be joined by a couple of special guests, uh, local subscribers Heath and Paula, who are going to show me their pub of the week. I am so ready for this. Oh my God. Thank you. Oh yeah. I so wanted to see Pub of the Week in the background then. Well, you can't. <laughs> Go on, sing it. Go on, both of you sing it. Outside. Pub of the Week. The Scotch Piper in Lydiate, which is 10 miles from Liverpool, claims to be the oldest pub in Lancashire, dating back to 1320. Survived a few fires, but uh, it's all looking all right now. And there's a space for your caravan if you're passing by. And there's lots of bikers and vintage car meets. There's also cheeses. This pub concentrates on selling drink. So although they don't really do food, they do have cheese and sometimes they have burgers as well. Cheese and crackers, we've got ale, what are you drinking? Plum water. Plum water. Oh. I'm having a lager because I'm a lager lout. And uh, yeah. I'm playing cards. Mature cheddar with whiskey. Oh. Quite strong. Uh, red plastic with chilies and crushed pepper. And uh, the one I've ordered personally, which is Black Bomber Extra Mature Cheddar. You have knife. to be very mature to eat it. Well, that rolls me out then. And <laughs> I'm getting the cheese sweats. That's what makes the pub of the week. Pub of the week. <laughs> After yet another game, we moved into the main area of the pub where they had some live music playing. This is an open mic, Liverpool style. And as I struggled to get my cameraman to turn uh, to landscape mode, that was the end of the evening. Thoroughly enjoyed that. What a pub. Over the last six months, I've been filming a lot of random stuff. So here are some sneak previews of clips that I may or may not use in forthcoming vlogs. This one is pretty unique. I've never seen a bridge like this, where it literally just lifts up. Amazing. Looks so majestic. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> the engine noise is quite loud. I've got more talking. Let's see if I can hear Andrew. 
Andrew, come in. Over. Coming in. Over. <laughs> one thing I've noticed about this canal is there's no no one fishing. Tables, yes, also here we go. Perfect timing by the way, perfect timing. Ugh. You're going to have to edit this heavily. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a lot of editing. I'm quite far behind. Here we are on the Leeds and Liverpool, just travelling back from Liverpool where I've ended filming of the Canal Boat Diary series. I'm trying to work my way back to Manchester. If you've seen my vlogs before, you might have seen that I've actually been down this bit here. This is the entrance to the Rufford branch, which takes you onto the Ribble Link, where you can cross over to the Lancaster Canal. But I think like the Clangochlan, I'm just going to have to leave this one to the last, really. It's, it's definitely what I want to do, but not quite yet. Oh, I really wanted to show you this. This is a Kingfisher, and it's the closest I've ever come to one. I don't know why it didn't get spooked and fly off but I'm really glad it just stayed put and maybe it was just fishing and it didn't really care about me which is fair enough <laughs> but I've never been this close to it before it's just amazing that's all I normally see it flying off right that's the end of the video I know it's been a really random news and pub of the week vlog but yeah, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and uh, check out these pumpkins. It's almost time for Halloween. Amazing. Anyway, yeah, cheers, bye-bye.